Hi guys, uh, thank you so much for watching as always. We are back with Game Dev Tycoon. Um, this is the company that we've got at the moment, Pixels in the Blood, and we're going to continue on. Um, at the end of the last video, I think what was happening was we've got a new console that's due to come out, um, which I'm guessing will probably be something like the Master System or something like that. Um, PlayStation and stuff won't be coming out until a bit later on, would have thought. Um, and we've got a bit of research to do now. I'm going to get a game engine set up um, and we'll get another game going as well. So let's crack on, let's get into the game. So First Fantasy is the one that's running at the moment. So I'm going to do some research um, and I'm going to do a custom game engine. Right, this should take a while to do, so I should have started it a bit earlier really. Ah, oh, there we go, so it is the Master System. VN has confirmed recent rumours about a new game console and announced the Master V. The company claims that the Master V is technically superior to the massively successful CES by Nuvento and plans to release it in the coming months. Um, I'm not sure I'll actually buy a license for that because in reality I don't think it did as well as the Nintendo. Um, but I could be lying about that. I never had a Master System myself. My friend had a Master System. I had um, an NES back in the day when they first came out. So let's get this research done and we should be able to get a better engine. Well, better games running on this engine. Okay, so it's custom game engine. You're on game engines to get started, close this message and click anywhere to bring up the action menu. Game tutorials and mono sound. Okay, um, what, I, what I do is I get a new game going out first because I don't want to be doing all this research whilst there's no money coming in. So we'll develop a new game. Um, we'll call, well, what, let's pick the topic and everything first. Um, I want to do something like a racing, I could do with a platform game really, but we'll do a racing game. Um, simulation or action game simulation we'll do an action game yeah racing action game is it action oh we'll do simulation do you know what pulls to it platform will be on the TES we will call it um, race buddies don't know why I couldn't think of another name 2d graphics off the market, it sold 38,000, it made us 271,000 in sales, that's good, so we're okay on cash at the moment, not doing too bad. Right, so, simulation, engine, definitely. Stories and quests, not so much. Gameplay, without a doubt. So we'll do that, I think. Yeah, let's do it that way. An interesting fact about this game, actually, I don't know if you've ever read about this or seen it. Um, dialogue's not interested in. Level design. AI, definitely. What's this plus? Oh, is this giving us a clue to how much you should do on a simulation? No, I'm not, I don't know. Got definitely want some AI in there. Um, so basically when this game was released, um, like I say, it wasn't released on Steam, it was released off their own website. Um, and what happened was, um, sorry, just one second, world design, yeah, not so much, graphics and sound, or what, these graphics and sound. So yeah, so when the game first came out, what they did is, they actually released their own version on the Pirate Bay, because obviously there's a problem with torrenting games and stuff. And it was quite funny the way they did it, they were the first people to put it onto the Pirate Bay, so everybody started downloading it. But what they'd done is, um, let me just finish this off. So what they'd actually done is put like a, a sort of a different version of the game out, where basically after a certain amount of time playing the game, what would happen is um, you would get hit by constant pirating, and basically it would eventually make your company go under because you know you're constantly getting hit by pirates, so nobody was buying the actual game. It was a really clever way they did it, actually. I've, I've, I found that quite funny actually. Uh, loads of people were complaining, saying this game's shit, you know, you can't get past a certain point because pirates keep um, taking all your money. Or take, well, take just taking the game for free and not giving you any money. And then when they found out it was actually the game developers themselves that had actually done that to prove a point, um, it was quite funny. Uh, but I own, I own the game from the very start, I'm, I've never pirated the game. Okay, so the first reviews are coming for Race Buddies. Hmm. It's not great, but it's okay. Well, it's actually better than I thought. Oh, it's actually a lot better than I thought. Oh, okay. That'll do. Let's get um game report. And then I need to do some research. 
on Swift on this game report. So let's just see what kind of cash we're getting. It's not great. So fees being has stirred up the market worldwide. Industry experts say that the console is not very well marketed in North America, but that will it flourish in other parts of the world. Engine seems to be quite important for this type of game. Platform genre match simulation. So yes, okay. Right, we need to do some research. Right, what I want to do is we'll get some better sound. And then what we need to do as well is create a proper game engine. But that takes time and money. Let's just get some research done in this in this bit of a break we've got here. Attention part. You, to be able to use this in your games, you need to create a new engine which includes this part. Okay, so we'll do research first before we we'll create the um, game engine. Um, in tutorials, oh, should we get a new topic? Let's get a new topic first. Game dev, dance, school, movies. Let's do movies. Um, yeah. Let's get some stuff researched as quick as we can whilst this game is still going. Use up some of these research points. 1.2 thousand fans now. It's year three. Month nine, week two. Movies. Okay. Just quickly, can we research anything else? Target audience. Our game tutorials. Um, let's try target audience. I think that's going to be quite important. Okay. So I'm just thinking whether I should try and get this game engine done. But it's leaking cash as we're doing this. So, it's going to have 2D graphics, uh, linear stories, save game, and it'll have mono sound. So, let's create this engine. Now creating your own custom game engine. Once the engine is finished, you will be able to use it when creating new games. Okay. Could I not name it? I'm sure you can name the actual game engine. Maybe you can name it afterwards. Or maybe I just completely missed it. New research available casual games. Let's get this done as quick as possible because we're hemorrhaging cash at the moment. Recent market data shows that the Golvador G64 seems to be slowly losing market share against other PC manufacturers. The statement of GC4 employees said that the company has been unsuccessful in introducing high priced computers to compete against new and more advanced PCs. So this is where PC is starting to shine now. So if I was to go back to making a PC game, which I might do on the next game now actually, we'll make one on the PC rather than the G64. Engine complete! Engine game engine 1 is now complete. Right, so I should have named it I think. Your first custom game engine already, you should try using it in your next game. Okay. You can now specify what your main target audience is for your game. Games can be targeted at young people, at everyone, or at most mature audiences. Picking the right target audience for your game is important. Your target platform could also play a role. Some platforms are especially popular with a specific audience. Right, so we're going to have this one for everyone. Well, let's pick our topic first. I'm going to do this on PC, so let's do a... Let's do a movie game. No, should we do a movie game? No. Pirate game? Pirate adventure game. Pirate Adventure platform. We're going to do one on the PC just to see. So simulation and strategy is better. Oh uh, no, adventure is better. Is it? No, RPG. Oh fuck, I don't know. RPG is good. But we'll try an adventure game. See what that comes up. So game engine one. It's a shame. I should have named that. We'll have a new game engine before you know it anyway. Right. So we'll call it. And why not? So it's going to be 2D graphics uh, V2. So it's going to have better graphics now. So let's see. Let's get this game developed as soon as possible, though. Right, so it's an adventure game, so we want lots of gameplay, bit of story and quests, engine, not so much. Um, actually, stories and quests, I suppose, are more important than gameplay. Gameplay, I suppose, is more for action games. But let's try that. Okay, 
dialogue's quite important for an adventure game. AI is not important for an adventure game. Level design up. Gets dialogues up there. Okay, well, um, need to get this game out today. Nintendo has announced that they will introduce a portable gaming device called GameLing. And obviously, the Game Boy. The device comes with a changeable game cartridge and a managed chrome screen on a green background. God, that takes me back, that. Compared to PCs and other gaming consoles, the Game Link is underpowered, but given the low cost and excellent portability, it might find a huge following. Next month. So, I could buy a license for that if we really wanted to. Um, right, so, graphics, world design is going to be up. So it's an adventure game, graphics not so much, and sound not so much. But we're going to go for mono sound. Um, yeah, that'll do. Come on, really having drink cash now. Okay, let's get these bugs fixed. And there we go. Ha! He's ready. Getting close to uh, leveling up. World design's leveled up now. New research available. Open world. Oh, we can do an open world game. Just gotta wait for this game to be done. Okay, really stars came in. Let's see how we. Oh, got a first 10. Almost perfect. Great. Great game. Okay, so that's the best we've done up to now. So let's see what kind of cash we get. Let's generate a game report on it. Oh yeah, we're selling lots of units here. So the new game platform, Gameling by Invento, has been released. Achieved a company sales record with over 50,000 units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of Pixels in the Blood. It certainly is. Congratulations, you have made a quiet name for yourself and have saved up a lot of capital. If you want to grow the company further, moving into a new office is the next step. I found the perfect office situated in the technology park. Would you like to move your company to the next level? Um, how much we've got? We've got 1.1 million in the bank now, because this game has just completely took off. So, let's move. So we're moving into our new offices now. And this is where we can start getting staff. Welcome to your new office. Now that you have a bigger office, you can also hire staff and forge a world-class development team to make even better games. Okay? You now may also train yourself and your staff to improve skills. Let's try this by completing a management course, which is required before you can hire your first employee. So it's started, close this message, and then click on your character to bring up the training menu. Right. Just got to wait for this uh, game report to finish first. Har has achieved a company sales record with over 100,000 units sold now. So we've got so much cash coming in now. This is an important milestone in the history of Pixels in the Blood. Our post-release analysis of horror is complete, and we got the following results. Pirate and Adventure is a great combination. Engine seems to be not important for this type of game. Platform audience match, everyone PC, good. Topic audience match, everyone pirate, great. Yeah, so it's worked. Right, so let's research. Uh, no, we don't want to do research, we want to train. So let's train him in staff management. What you can do is when you hire more staff, you can do this for each member of staff. So you give some of them a break um, from making the game and you just get them trained and keep training and training and training. Um, and then you up these score points basically, up these scores. So we'll start that training. But obviously whilst they're doing this training, they can't do anything else. And you have to rest them as well. If they get tired, the people, then they start making sloppy mistakes. Recently published game, Horror, it's a surprise hit with players. development. Developer Pixels in the Blood is fairly new to the game industry, but we cannot wait for what they will develop next. Me neither. So, this is the bit of a laborious part now where we're waiting for this, but the sales are still, I mean, we're up 2.1 million now, so I'm not worried. So I'm not bothered about that. We're making fortunes. Well done, you successfully completed your management course and you are now able to hire your very first employees. Get started, close this message, then click on the fill position button. You can hire someone you have to advertise the open position, set an advertising budget and decide how you want to test your applicants. A high budget will increase the number of applicants and the different tests will help find people with the right balance of design and tech skills. Okay, so budget, how much do we want to spend? We're certainly not spending that much. We'll spend 250k. Budget, yeah, that'll be enough. Uh, Pre-filter applicants, game demo, um, let's do game demo. Um, 
or show real maybe. Because if we do complex algorithms, that's more to do with tech. Um, do we need somebody in for tech? Well, no. Let's just do a show real. Because you, 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 basically what you do is you start hiring people that can do tech, and you hire people that can do design, and then you, you basically you assign each person. When, when you start developing a new game, you, you assign that person to a specific part of that game. So that person's blood has recently moved into an office in a well-known tech, tech park, and there's no uh, searching for employees company, which is known for games such as Har and Race Buddies, as reportedly operating out of a garage until now. I can't. I called it Har. One of the many fans of Har commented, I can't believe that they didn't even have a proper office until now, and those games were created by only one person. I'm real looking forward to their future games. Me too. So let's see what employees we get. The position is complete, you can now review the list of applicants and hire someone for this position. Don't forget that you can always train your employees to improve their skills. That's true. Right, so this guy's design more. He's 23 per month. He's got okay speed. He's got better speed, this guy, but his research is a bit lower. In fact, it's a lot lower, his research. He's another designer. So the showreel seems to be very design-based. He's very slow, um, but his research is quite high, and his salary is not that big, so... I'm just kind of... I'm thinking this guy. He's a bit more down the centre. Costs me a little bit more per month, but his research is really good. His speed is quite good. Design and tech. Yeah, let's let's get this guy. Hi, someone famous. Okay, congratulations on your first hire. New employees have to settle in before they become fully uh, fully effective. What a when a character is not fully efficient, you can see an efficiency bar next to them. This bar will fill up slowly over time. I think you send them on like holidays and stuff like that. It's usually a good idea to give your new staff a welcome training to give them up to speed quickly. This will maximize your efficiency way faster than normal. To do this, close this message and then click on the character to bring up the action menu. New research available, medium games. So the games are starting to get a bit bigger now. Um, right, so what we need to do is. So you can get them all doing different things now. So you, you can get like, if you have like four employees, you can get four of them all researching different aspects. So let's get them on staff welcome training. See, I'm starting to get a bit tired now. With a growing interest in video games, there is also a growing audience of video game magazines. These magazines offer a great new way for the game developers to market their upcoming games. New research available, marketing. Let's get that researched, actually. Marketing. And then we're going to have to pump. As soon as both of these guys get done, we need to start pumping another game out because we're going to start losing cash very, very quick now I've got an employee. So we made 2.2 .2 million off that game. 317,000 units. Can't grumble. So he's nearly trained up now. Um, yeah, he seems to be. And to create hit games and have a world-class team, then training is important. For the best results, train your staff regularly, but don't overwhelm them with too many sessions at once. Yes, I know. There are different training options available. Yeah. Yada, yada, yada. So basically, you can go to special... You can make people specialists and stuff like that. So this game is more design. So... Make me think. Game design for pirates. Let's just try training him up. See what he gets for this. Um, okay, so marketing has now been finished. You've successfully unlocked marketing. You can access marketing options in the action menu, but only while the game is in development. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, whilst he's doing that training, we're going to develop a new game quickly. So, topic. <coughs> um... I'm not sure what all that's about. Okay, anyway. Um, we'll do a space game. Genre will be a space simulation on a PC. I ah, can't see why not. It'll be an everyone game. Platform, we'll be doing it on PC. Um, and the game engine will be Game Engine 1, which does need renaming. Um, we'll get this one done and then I'll end the video. Um, so this will be... There's actually a movie called Space Cowboys. Eh, call it Cowgirls. Uh, right, so next. So it's going to be 2D Graphics V2. Uh, hopefully this guy gets his training done sooner rather than later. Right, so, because it's simulation, engine, definitely. Stories and quests, not so much. Gameplay, yeah. 
Um, we'll have save games and a linear story to it. I forgot to do all these on the last one. It's been a while since I played this game. I'm just hoping this guy's tech, uh, his training gets finished quickly so we can help him in this game. Uh, right, so simulation. Uh, AI, definitely. Level design, somewhat. Dialogues, not interested. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, Vena creator of the Master V console has announced the Vena Gear. I'm not going to come close to gaming consoles with Vena Gear, but it's the full power of the Master V. No, it won't stop the game link. Okay, um, well designed, yes. Graphics, yes. Sound, yes. Love manual sound. 2D graphics, V2, yeah, that'll do. Come on, we need to get this finished. Hemorrhaging cash. Right, so he's helping out now. Let's just get these bugs finished. And let's see what this has to offer us. Okay, so I've leveled up. Um, this is my other employee, obviously, so he's just starting to uh, make his way up now as well. So let's uh, release the game. Simple cutscenes. Um, can I not? Oh, I thought I could do um, a game report, but no. Let's research a an open world, maybe. Simple cutscenes. We'll do that. You can research. Ah, oh, so we could do generate the game. Okay, this is not that great. This one. Yeah, it'll pay the bills. Just generate the game report for me, please. And um, we'll get some research done whilst we've got this little bit of a break. See what kind of sales we get. It's not great. But it's bringing the cash back in. That's what matters. Let's research. Medium games. Oh, we can't because it's. So we about 150. Th wait, oh, I've only got seven. Right, so we need to get some more research points. Let's wait for him to finish this. It's based sim simulation is a great combination. Graphics seems to be very important for this type of game. Platform genre match simulation PC. Great. Okay. So it's more graphics involved. But what we'll do is um, we'll end this video here. Um, it's been a bit of a longer one, this I do believe. Um, but yeah, so um, next time we'll crack on with uh, making some more um, games and we'll do a bit more research and possibly get some more stuff in. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching as always. Uh, please feel free to rate, comment, subscribe and I'll catch you on the next video, guys. So take care of each other and goodbye.